Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Dr. Smith, Assistant Principal for Atlantic Coast High School. We want to thank you for your interest in our AP Capstone program. The AP Capstone program teaches students critical thinking skills for problem solving, written and oral communication, and presentational development. Students learn to evaluate sources for validity, develop personal perspectives about a topic, which result in producing scholarly work. Students develop reasoning processes to make intentional strategic decisions through course-based performance assessment tasks. Students' personal interest and intellectual curiosity inspire investigation of topics or issues that may or may not be clearly defined. Students will conduct a well-crafted investigation that explores the complexity of that topic from relevant and credible sources of information provide evidence to shape and support their arguments, and evaluate line of reasoning and evidence to determine to what extent they believe or accept an argument. These are just a few of the enduring understandings that are learned in the AP Capstone program. Earning the AP Capstone diploma requires the students to take and pass AP seminar, AP research, and four other AP courses. The College Board grades the exam on a one through five scale, with a three, four, or five considered a passing score on the exam. Remember, the goal is for our students to obtain their AP Capstone Diploma by the end of their junior year to allow students to add their AP Capstone Diploma to their resume and discuss this with college admissions advisors, their research projects from the AP Research class. We provide a specific course progression required for students to complete, thus ensuring students have the opportunity to complete the AP Capstone program by the end of their junior year. Typically, AP scores are not produced until the summer of that school year. So with the students completing their courses by the end of their junior year, we won't get scores back in until the summer of their junior year before they enter their senior year. This allows us to determine what other AP courses they may need to take as a senior to complete the AP Capstone program or confirm that they have received their AP Capstone diploma and thus can add that to their resume for college admissions advisors. If you look at the AP course progression, in ninth grade, the students typically take English 9 honors. In math, they take geometry and or geometry honors. In science, they take biology. In social studies, they take AP Human Geography, and we have a prerequisite course called Great Books. This teaches the students that fundamental writing skills that is necessary for the AP Seminar program. As you see, we only allow the kids to take one AP course as a freshman as we acclimate them to the rigor of an advanced placement course in high school. Continuing on, if you look at the 10th grade progression, students transition to English 10 honors, Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 honors, Chemistry, AP World History, and AP Seminar. So here they take their first AP Seminar course that's required for the capstone in addition to their second advanced placement course with AP World History. As a junior, they start off in English going into AP Language and Composition. They take the next math course. Typically, it's pre-calculus. In science, they can take an AP Science class or an Honors Physics class. We have several AP courses that you will see momentarily. Students transition into AP US History, and they take AP Research. Their junior year is very important. As you can see, they're taking a heavy course load when it comes to AP and honors classes. By the end of their senior year, we can determine if they have taken and passed AP seminar, AP research, and four other AP courses. If a student is missing an AP course, then we can schedule them into that AP course as a senior to ensure they have the opportunity to earn their AP capstone diploma. A typical course progression as a senior in English is AP literature and composition. Math, they go to calculus AB. Once again, they can take another AP science class. They move into AP US government and AP macronomics, and there is no capstone course that they have to take as a senior. If you look at the next slide, the AP courses and data trends, 
you can see that we offer 22 advanced placement courses. You can also see the percentage of students that pass those courses with a three or higher for the 2018 and 2019 year. Now I've highlighted the areas that the students typically take with the AP Capstone program. If you look at the first highlighted area, language and composition, in the 2019-2020 year, the average mean score that the students are scoring is a 3.36 with 77 percent of our students passing that class. Now this is a big jump from the 2018-19 school year as you can see indicated by the table. If you look at our human geography, it's the next highlighted course. This is the only class that freshmen are allowed to take. And it's a little bit of a challenge for students as they transition from middle school into the AP capstone program due to the rigor of an advanced placement class. I think that is evident in the data. As you can see, that 53.5% of our students are scoring a three or higher on the AP Human Geography. If you continue to look further down, the research and seminar courses, we have a 72% pass rate in the research class and a 77.8% passer rate in the seminar class. And in US history and world history, those corresponding passer rates for 2019 and 2020 are listed below, with 64% passing U.S. history and 75% passing world history. I'd like to point out we also have some rock star teachers teaching our advanced placement courses. If you look at our calculus A, B, and B, C, we have a 92 plus percent passer rate in those courses. Mr. Frenzel does a wonderful job ensuring the students are successful in those exams. Those are typically courses the students would take as a junior or senior. If you look at European history, Ms. Curran does a wonderful job with the 88.5% passer rate. We offer AP Spanish. We have 100% passer rate in that class. So if your student is interested in the world languages, there is an opportunity for them to earn a college credit in Spanish. I do want to test base that while we're not an early college program, we do offer dual enrollment classes with the Florida State College of Jacksonville, FSCJ. Students can take classes on our campus, and once they exhaust that opportunity, we can check to see if they can take classes off our campus. Typically, taking classes off our campus does not take place until they're a senior. But we do offer English Composition 1 and 2. We offer U.S. History, or we offer U.S. History 2010 and 2020, as well as College Algebra and a Finite Math. So that gives the students the opportunity to, to earn some college credits while they're in high school, in addition to taking multiple advanced placement courses. At this time, let's hear from some of our AP Capstone students and their experiences in the AP Capstone program. In the Capstone program, I learned how to effectively write a research paper, which I feel was a really good idea to teach to us, especially if you want to apply to the higher level colleges. I learned to work with my peers better, um, to conduct research better, as a student and just being able to improve my writing skills as well in the process. Also, the classes really helped us um, search for um, very unbiased sources, which is very beneficial because when you have a biased source, you can't have reliable information. Before high school, I really never again learned how to annotate, but like going into great books, I really learned how to annotate and I've used that all years throughout high school. Great books was more of an introductory class, focusing more on the annotations and reading and analyzing the articles while AP Seminar is more of extracting that information. My writing wasn't as good as it was when I took AP Seminar and I, I think I learned a lot of um, what I know now because of AP Seminar because I improved as I was doing it. This program definitely helped me with my time management as um, a lot, I feel like I learned a lot of um, life skills in this class as well as just about different topics that exist in society today. I actually learned that I'm really interested in writing. Before I hated writing papers and I thought it was very interesting to create our own like research question and then do it throughout the year. I think our teachers had like a significant impact especially on uh, Mr. Kent since we had him freshman year and sophomore year. He helped me get really involved in my writing again because I was not interested before. And Ms. Broussard also, she was very involved and we did a lot of extra activities to help us get excited for research. The District AP Capstone application, application window, 
late applications and evaluation criteria can be found at the following link. The 2021-2022 High School Acceleration Program application may be completed through the Focus Parent Portal account beginning on Tuesday, December the 1st at 8 a.m. and will close at 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, January 21st, 2021. Parents, if you do not have a Focus Parent Portal account, you can create one by visiting Technology Services and then following the directions for creating an account. Parents that have forgotten their password have trouble creating a new Focus Parent Portal account or experience technical issues may contact the help desk at 904-348-7628 or 904-348-5200. Or you can email pga underscore support at duvalschools.org. The evaluation criteria for acceptance in the AP Capstone program is determined by the High School Acceleration Office. Applicants must be proficient in reading based on 6th grade FSA, 7th grade PSAT, or 7th grade Achieve 3000. The district is going to look at proficiency in math based on grade 6 FSA, grade 7 PSAT, or grade 7 I-Ready. If you will continue to look at the website that has the AP Capstone application with the district, you will see a complete list of the evaluation criteria used to determine if a student is eligible for the AP Capstone program. Parents, once you have completed the AP Capstone application, the district will reach out to the school and contact myself with the list of names of who has been accepted into the AP Capstone program. Remember, you must complete that application online. If you complete the application before the first due date, you will hear back from the school at some point over the summer with an acceptance letter from the school and next steps as far as admissions into the AP Capstone program with Atlantic Coast High School. Parents, once again, please visit our school website for a virtual tour of our campus that can be found at the following link. Items in that will discuss our bell schedule, lunch rotations, athletics, and clubs. Most importantly, we encourage our AP Capstone students to get involved in something outside of academics. We want them involved. We want them to take ownership. They are a part of the fabric that makes Atlantic Coast High School an A school. We want to thank you for your interest in Atlantic Coast High School's AP Capstone program. And we look forward to meeting you in the fall of 2021.